How you doing, guys? Uh, we're taking a look, a second look at the uh, Cinema Grade by uh, Grading Control Central. And um, we kind of focus more on the interface and, and tools in a, uh, as a whole. Now we're going to uh, take a look at more of the automated tools. Uh, we can do uh, gr uh, grading right in the viewer itself. I didn't really cover that as much uh, due to various reasons, but um, we're going to actually cover that separately now. And we're simply going to do that with one scene and we're going to go full screen uh, to be able to see it better. Now, most of the automated tools are going to be at the top here. And uh, before we do that, I'm actually going to open up the uh, manual tools that I'm calling here on the right side, just so you can see as we're adjusting which one it actually kind of controls. And um, normally, uh, if you just do a single click and uh, here we're selecting exposure. Now, normally I think the way they have it set up is you want to start to left all the way to the right. Uh, for when I believe uh, watching some of the other videos uh, uh, as far as using this. And now when you do just a single click here, you're going to uh, do exposure as a whole or I like to say global exposure and you see on the uh, right hand tools. As we're adjusting that, that will select exposure, both highlights, midtones, and shadows all together. Just like so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset that. Just I just wanted to show you that. Now you do a, a long click here, and then we're going to select shadows, midtones, and highlights. And um, now when I was playing around with this earlier, um, I like this concept because sometimes I don't always know. I mean, usually it's pretty easy figuring out what the shadows and the highlights, more than likely. Midtones I have a little bit more problem with um, as far as adjustment. And this tool actually makes it easier uh, selecting. Um, you can actually select uh, on any area. And uh, hopefully that's going to go into the midtones here, I think. And as you can see, it does affect midtones right here. And then um, hopefully we're going to select um, the highlight area. Like I said, this normally this does it all automatically. And hopefully, there we go. There's the uh, highlights. And then uh, we're, we're going to try to do the shadows. Just as so. And so you can actually select certain areas of the image that you definitely want to effect. And in fact, we're going to do a uh, quick grade last time I did it manually within the uh, control panel itself and um, let me see the tools fortunately in the highlights the uh, um, perhaps instead of using a white X they could make it black to make it easier to see because I, that's one of the uh, problems I think I had of course that could change with uh, future revisions and uh, let me select the uh, midtones here do a quick grade it's not going to be very accurate and we're actually going to do the actually let's try to do it with contrast okay we're going to do this globally for the contrast um, to just get a, a quick grade here and this should be fairly similar with the other tools and now uh, if you uh, long click on it then you can choose pivot which is kind of a um, Fine adjustment, I guess, for contrast. Uh, and I admit I don't usually use pivot very often, but I guess it fine uh, fine tunes the aspect. Now to go back, you have to long click again and then choose back to contrast. I think I know at least with exposure you'd had to do this, and then obviously turn it on and off. Um, Kelvin, we're going to leave as is, and. Uh, Saturation adjustment, okay. And here you can also do it globally. Um, by just clicking once and uh, we're gonna hold right there. In fact, we're gonna reset that because I wanna do it um, shadows, midtones, and highlights. Uh, haven't used this one yet, actually. Should be very similar. And this is, uh, and actually I kind of wish I had uh, thought about this adjustment before because usually when I use saturation, it affects the whole picture. Normally when I adjust it in some of my other editing programs, 
So it's nice to see you be able to apply saturation to individual parts of the picture. Um, now I'm sure some of the other editing programs you can, but I haven't gone that super in depth uh, as far as that. Normally I would just adjust the saturation globally, I guess you could say. So we can actually enhance maybe, uh, let me see if we can click on this right here. I'm actually gonna get the mid-tones just like so. And as you can see, it adjusts the uh, mid-tones for the saturation as well. So um, I like that concept as well. Um, and like I said, you don't have to have this toolbar on the right hand side. Um, I like the fact that you don't have to necessarily worry what it is, shadows, midtones, or highlights. So I could see this being quite quick uh, as far as what you want to adjust. And it selects the value for you, uh, it's, which is well done. So I, I wanted to uh, go more in depth and as uh, Denver Riddle um, mentioned, I didn't really add this in there due to multiple retakes and I had to finish up the video uh, overall. But I knew I was going to go in depth and actually I'm uh, be looking at the DaVinci Resolve version, which is supposed to be the light version because DaVinci Resolve really is color grading correction heavy to begin with compared to some of their editing features. So um, I'm going to look more into that as well. Uh, thanks you guys for watching and see you guys later.